the bell icon to turn on notifications. So far in this course, we've seen how to create instant and automated flows. So let's now move on to talking about scheduled flows. So from that left hand menu, I'm currently clicked on the Create tab. And the third option along is Scheduled Cloud Flow. Now, the difference between scheduled and instant and automated flows is that scheduled flows are triggered by a date and time. So maybe there is a flow that you want to trigger every Friday at 5 p.m. That is where you would use a scheduled cloud flow. So let's jump into here and see what we get. Now, the scheduled flow that I want to set up is a flow that at the end of the day, it reminds everybody in the organization of the clean desk policy. So we want to remind them to make sure that their desk is tidy and make sure they wash their coffee mugs. And I want to send this out to the entire team. And I want to post this in the Teams channel at the end of every day. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to give our flow a name. And I'm going to call this clean desk policy. I can then establish when I want this flow to run. So we can select the date and the time. We can also select if we want this to repeat, which I do in this case. Now, today is not a Friday in the UK. It's actually a Monday. So in order to demonstrate this to you and show you how this works, I'm actually going to set a date and time of today and about 10 minutes from now. So I'm going to leave the date as it is. And let's say we want this to run at... 3.15 p.m. Now I want this to repeat every single day at the same time. So repeat every one day. And you can see underneath it says this flow will run every day, which is perfect. Let's click on create. So now it takes me into my flow and you, and you can see the trigger there is recurrence. It is the options that I've already set up. So now all I need to add is my action. What do I want it to do? So let's add a new step. I want it to post in a Teams channel. So I'm going to search for my Teams connectors and I'm going to choose post a message in a chat or channel. This time I want it to post as the flow bot. I want it to post in a specific channel. I need to select my team. So let's say Northwind Traders this time. And the channel is going to be general. I'm going to add a message. Please remember to tidy your desks and wash your coffee mugs. Really highlight the please remember by making it bold and underlined. Let's click on save and I'm going to run my flow through my flow checker. No errors and no warnings. And now I'm going to test my flow. Let's test this manually and click on test. Now I'm going to say run flow at the bottom. I can see that my flow has run successfully. So let's jump across to our Teams channel. And notice that the Northwind Traders general channel is showing in bold, which lets me know that a new notification has been posted. So if I click on it, you can see at the bottom here from the Power Automate bot, please remember to tidy your desks and wash your coffee mugs. And of course, I can do exactly the same with this type of flow. I can add more actions. I can add conditions. The only real difference is that the trigger is time based. In the last lesson, we saw how to create a scheduled flow to remind everybody about the clean desk policy. And scheduled flows are triggered by a specific date and time. Now, what if you want to add in some kind of delay before your flow runs? Well, that is what we're going to explore in this lesson. So we're going to start out by creating another scheduled flow. So from the left hand menu, let's click on create. We're going to go to scheduled cloud flow. And this time I want to create a flow that posts a message to my team every Monday at 9am saying, have a great week team. And I want this to post in my Slack channel. So I'm going to give my flow a name. Let's call it have a great week. I want this flow to run every Monday. So we're going to start from next Monday and I want it to run at 9am. I want this to repeat every week but only on a Monday. So let's deselect everything else. 
let's click the create button to jump into that flow. Now you can see here that the trigger has already been created for me because the trigger is the recurrence, the time and date that I've set for this flow to start. Now the action for this flow is to post a message in a Slack channel. So I want to click on new step and I'm going to search for all of my connectors related to Slack. So let's scroll through. Here's the one I want, post a message. And it's worth noting here that if you haven't signed into Slack, it will say sign in here and give you a link to enter in your Slack credentials. I'm already signed in so I can select my channel name. Let's choose uh, general and then I can enter in my message. So I just want this to say, have a great week team. Now I've set this to post every Monday at 9 a.m. Now I'm just going to expand these advanced options because one thing I do want to change in here is who this is posting as. So I want to post this as myself. So post as user, yes. If I don't select that, it's going to post as a bot. And I want this to look as natural as possible. Now on that same topic, because I do want this to look like a fairly natural post, People might start to cotton on to the fact that this is in fact an automated bot if it's posted exactly the same time and date every single week. Maybe I want to switch that up a little bit and add in a delay. So maybe some days it posts at nine o'clock, other days it posts at 9.03, maybe other days it posts at 9.05. So it's less likely to look like a bot message if I can vary the time that it posts. And we can do this by adding in a delay. So let's click on new step and I'm going to search for delay. You can see underneath actions, there it is. Let's select it. And now we can specify the count of unit to delay. So maybe I want to post this randomly within a five minute period. And this is where we can use expressions to help us with this. And again, if you are familiar with an application like Excel, then you might be familiar with using something like the RAND or RAND between functions. They basically allow you to specify a minimum value and a maximum value, and it will generate a random number in between those two values. So that's exactly what I want to do here. I want to specify a minimum value of maybe one and a maximum value of five for five minutes. And then each time it will generate a random number between one and five. And that's the number of minutes it will post after. So let's click in count. I'm going to go across to expressions and I'm going to search for RAND. Let's open our bracket. And the first thing we need to do here is enter in our minimum value. So our minimum value is going to be one minute and our maximum value is going to be five minutes. Let's click on OK. I'm going to keep the unit on minute. That's absolutely fine. And all I need to do now is move this action in between recurrence and post a message because I basically want it to trigger on Monday at 9 a.m. But then I want it to delay by however many minutes this expression has generated. So if it generates a number three, it's going to delay for three minutes. And then at 9.03, it will post the message. So let's click on save. Let's run it through our flow checker. No errors, no warnings. It's time to test. I'm going to test this manually and click on test at the bottom. And I'm going to say run flow. So this flow is now running and you can see it's stopped on the delay action. Now if I click on delay, I'm going to be able to see how long it's going to wait for before it posts the message in Slack. It's randomly generated the number four, so it's going to wait four minutes. Once we get to that four minute mark, I would expect the rest of this flow to complete as it posts the message on Slack. So let's wait four minutes and then jump across to Slack to make sure that that message has been posted. And there we go. If we jump across to Slack, you can see that it's posted that message underneath my user ID. So using delays in your flows can be really helpful to make flows look a little bit more natural and delay the next stage of the flow. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.